And welcome to your goal market update for today, Friday the 16th of September. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Goal Markets to take you around what's happening today. Of course, we had a weaker session last night in the US again as most of the major indices moved towards two-month lows. Despite some positive jobs data, we're set for another losing week across all indices. US futures continue to be down in Asian trading. Bit of an after-the-bell shock with a FedEx earnings warning. They dropped about 15% in after-hours trading. And that has sent the futures down further than they were already. Asia is following that weak US lead. The ASX is down around 0.9% towards the lows of the session at this stage in the day. European equity futures are pointing also to a lower open as the general malaise continues. US dollar index is near neutral after a slight rise yesterday and still below 20-year highs. It's pretty neutral in Asia so far as well. Gold, however, sold off significantly, breaching that 1700 support and hit lows not seen since March 2020 during the start of the pandemic. All also dropped to $90 key level on the Brent crude CFD contract and is looking to test last week's lows. Copper is testing a 350 support and the VIX is trading above the 25 key level. Bitcoin is also testing 20,000 support and is at the lows of the week. Be interesting to see if we get a further sell and a test of that 18,500 long-term support. On the data front, we've got some Chinese retail sales and industrial production numbers out. The RBA governor is speaking and markets will be looking for any signs of central bank policy going forward. UK retail sales, Eurozone inflation data and consumer sentiment all due today for what is a busy day for a Friday and could make for another interesting session. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. Uh, we're going to start with a look at the Aussie yen. You can see on the daily chart we've had this gradual decline in the Australian dollar since the highs at the start of the week, which is bringing us back towards 95.60 on the daily chart. If we do breach this, the next longer term key level is probably around about this 94 level. So around about 150 pips from where we are right now. If we just move closer into the hourly chart, we are watching, as we said, 95.60. If it does breach this level, then in the short term, there's a potential test of 95, which is around about 56 pips if it breaks through that level. So that's one to watch later on today. Uh, we reference gold and here's a gold chart on the weekly. We breached the 200 MA, moved through that 1700 level and are trading towards the lows of the week. You can see it was March 2020 when we last were at this level. If we take it out even further, if we get a further drop in gold, then one wonders whether there could be a test of $1,600. If we just look at the daily chart, you can see the carnage last night. Uh, we are pretty neutral in Asia so far as you see today, so the selling hasn't continued. But nevertheless, one to watch if we get any further move to the downside. Possibly $1,650, a level to keep an eye on. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.